right, this is it. This is part number four. And it gets even better. So put on your seatbelts and I'm gonna take you to a higher level. Okay, in this uh, video, I'm gonna show you nicer moves and cleaner combinations. And all that together, it means more tips. Okay, the first um, package I'm gonna show you is this essential package that you need to move to the next level. Okay, and we're gonna start with tins. And this move is called the helicopter. And this is the way it is. You're gonna throw the, the tin sideways. It's gonna do double spin, and then you're gonna grab it with the same hand and reverse grip, okay? Here we go, in full speed, here you go. Catch, time, catch, catch, okay? Now, let's watch it in a slow motion. Holding the tin in a reverse grip, throw the tin away from your body with a backspin, allowing the tin to rotate through the air on its side, horizontal to the floor. Be sure to allow the tin to rotate twice before grabbing it with the same hand in the reverse grip. Okay, our next move is a throw over the shoulder. And uh, very important that you, you learn this moving well because we're gonna use it a lot in the future, okay? This is the way it looks. Just grab the, the tin reverse grip and you're gonna throw it all the way over the shoulder. You're gonna release it about here, okay? Over your shoulder. It goes slow, okay? That's it, over your shoulder. We're gonna do it one more time, okay? We're gonna grab it in the same hand. Just watching in slow motion and practice. Holding the tin in a reverse grip, throw the tin over your shoulder as it reaches your lower back. Use your index finger to push the tin, creating two full rotations as the tin moves across your shoulder. You can then catch the tin in your opposite hand while maintaining eye contact with your guests. Okay, this roll is one of my favorite ones because you can do an eye contact with the customer and you can interact with people. Okay, it's really powerful. Now the way it goes is you're gonna roll your, your tin on your arm, okay, all the way down, and you're gonna stop it with your chin. The secret to this is you have to put the arm a little bit higher than straight, just a little bit, not too high, otherwise it tingles, it rolls down really, really hard, and it may hit you in your face. So all you're gonna do is just a little bit more than straight, okay? All the way down, when it's up here, then you stop it. Cross your arm, let it fall, and then you make an eye contact with a joke. Okay, here goes the move. It's called a slow motion. Hold the tin with the opening away from your body as you toss the tin into the air with a backspin, allowing it to roll across your arm. Be sure to hold your arm slightly above eye level to control the speed of the tin as it rolls down your arm. As the tin rolls over your shoulder, be prepared to grasp the tin with your neck. This move requires a tremendous amount of control, so work on the roll first before attempting to grasp the tin with your neck. Okay, the next move I'm gonna show you is a transition, and I'm gonna show you three different ones, okay? Three different combinations all together. So first one, you, you take the bottom out of the well with this grip, you're gonna do a circle, catch it in a reverse grip with the other hand, switch it behind the back, then you're gonna do a circle Throw it upside down, catch it with the, the other hand, switch it in front of your body, switch hands, do another circle, throw a shadow, switch behind the back, and that's the move. I'm gonna show you two in, in a full speed, okay? Here we go, so one, in the back, two, in front, three, shadow, stop, okay? I'm gonna show you how it looks from behind, okay? Take it out of the well, Behind the back, this goes in front. This is the shadow. Stop. All right? It's watching in slow motion now. Using your prior knowledge from volume three, pull the bottle from the well with your left hand, allowing your right hand to follow with a snatch in a reverse grip. Continue the full circle as you release the bottle to your left hand while you exchange in a reverse grip. Take the bottle behind your back, exchanging once again to your right hand as it positions for an upside down exchange pass from right to left. Be sure to hold the bottle by the neck as it comes from behind to position for the upside down toss. Catch the bottle with your left hand as it semicircles across your body to again exchange to your right hand. Hold the bottle flat as you prepare to shadow pass to your left hand, maneuvering your head forward to create space for the bottle to pass. Catch the bottle with your left hand and quickly go behind the back for another exchange to your right, 
and immediately into a stall. This move may look difficult, but it's simply a compilation of previously learned moves, so be sure to practice all the individual components first before attempting to put this move together. Okay, the next move I'm going to show you is a throw behind the back to a stall. It is very powerful, especially when you're going to finish your routine. It has a very powerful ending, okay? It's a reverse grip, throw behind the back flat, and you're going to stall it with the back of your hand. All right, one more time, throw behind the back flat to a stall. I'm going to show you how it looks from behind, the throw. In the back, stall to the same hand. All right, one more time, in the back, to the same hand. This move may have another variation, which you can stall it with your positive hand, but that's a little bit harder. But if you practice, you can you can get it. It's not that easy. it's not that hard. Okay, just do it the other hand. Throw to the other hand. One more time to the other hand, and also you can stall it into the forearm as well. Okay, so let's watch it in slow motion and see the three different stall and throws behind the back. As explained in video 3, use your index and middle fingers to thrust the neck of the bottle into the air, allowing the bottle to float top heavy. This will allow the base of the bottle to land accordingly onto its target. From there, it's a simple stall, be it hand, forearm, or elbow. Practice throwing to the same hand before attempting to toss the bottle flat into the opposite arm. Okay, this move, um, I bet you're already familiar with this move. We've done a couple of variations before in the, next, uh, in the last videos. Um, it's a swipe through, okay? But this variation is one of the most beautiful variations ever. You're gonna throw behind the back, you're gonna swipe through, and as you swipe through, you're gonna throw the tin from behind the back to your front, okay? This way. He goes in, the, in full speed. One more time. One more time. Okay? And catch. I'll show you how it looks from behind. In the head, catch, one more. It's a beautiful move, okay? Let's watch it one more time in a slow motion. This is a dynamic variation of a popular move that we've already learned. As you prepare to swipe the bottle through your body, release the tin from behind your back, flat over your shoulder, allowing the bottle to swipe through as you prepare to catch the tin with the same hand. Once again, be sure to release the tin while the bottle is near your torso, allowing ample time for the tin and the bottle to both reach their targets. Okay, this next move I'm gonna show you. It looks easy, but it's not. I'm gonna introduce you to a new world of, this is the world of the exchanges, okay? This is called exchange behind the back. It looks simple, but it's not, okay? Check it out. Straight through, you're gonna throw the bottle behind the back, and as you throw the bottle behind the back, you're gonna change the tin behind the back to the other hand, and you're gonna catch the bottle with the left hand. Okay, here we go. One, catch. One more time. Throw, exchange, catch. Let's watch it from behind. Throw, exchange, catch. One more time, throw, exchange, catch. That's a move that's watching in slow motion. As Christian explained, this move is extremely difficult, so it may take some time to perfect. First, practice throwing the bottle by its neck at its highest point, allowing it enough time to exchange with the tin. As you can see, both objects are thrown flat, allowing them to drop at an angle to maximize the surface and catch area. Practice with one object at a time, and remember to throw the objects as high as possible at first to allow yourself the maximum amount of time to make the exchange. This next move is an exchange in front with a tin high. So what, what it, it gives you is, is the advantage of the, keep an eye contact with the people in the meantime you're doing flare. And you see what I mean, okay? You go to the bottle, tin. Now you release the bottle high, and you exchange the tin to the other hand. 
It's going to be one, two. Okay? One more time. One, two. Now what happened, in the meantime, you can look at the customers when you're doing it. And you catch. Okay? From there, you have a lot of getaways. Be, this is one. Throw the team again behind the back. Or you can go one, two, and go behind the back. Or you just simple, you can point at the customer in the meantime you're doing it. Okay? Let's watch it in slow motion now. This is a classic juggle exchange of two objects. As the bottle comes out of the well in a reverse grip, release the bottle into the air towards the other hand as you exchange the tin in front of you. The key to this move is to create space by throwing the objects high, allowing extended time to catch the objects while making eye contact with your guests. Practice by simply doing an exchange of two objects, then adding velocity to your toss as you become more comfortable. Well, we're going to wrap up the bottle tin part with uh, three beautiful transitions. They're very smooth, and it's a really nice combo that looks really, really nice behind the bar. Okay? And this is what it is. Bottle out of the well. Switch. One. Okay? Behind the back. Exchange. Two. Flat upside down. In front of you, exchange. And third is a shadow pass upside down and exchange in front. Okay, I'm gonna do one more time in full speed. That will be one, two, three. That's three, three transitions. I'm gonna show you how it looks from behind. Here's the first one. Here's the second. Wrong. Here's the third one. Now let's watch it in slow motion. As seen previously in this video, we will now add some complexity to this three variation bottle technique by adding a tin. Using your knowledge from the previous routine, you will simply introduce a few tin exchanges during the variations as you pass the bottle and tin simultaneously. This routine will begin with both objects in the left hand, raising the bottle out of the well and capturing it into your right hand. As you continue to swipe through the tin, exchange the tin from the left to right as you catch the bottle with your left hand in a reverse grip. Continue to exchange behind your back as you toss the tin in front of you, catching the tin with your left hand as you cut through the tin with the bottle. As the bottle completes a circle, release the bottle flat into the air upside down as you catch it with your left hand while exchanging the tin in front. You can finish this routine with a swipe through shadow pass as you again exchange the tin to the opposite hand, bringing the bottle from behind and into a stall. Okay, now what I'm gonna show you is a couple of moves with two bottles. The, they have the same base that we did before with bottle and tin, but we can do it with two bottles. And it looks really nice. Okay, here we go. Now one bottle, the other one out of the well, to behind the back, behind the back, shadow, to a stall. Okay? So one more time, you take one bottle, in the back, Swipe through behind the back, catch, shadow, to a stall. I'm doing it full speed, okay? Just one, behind the back, shadow, to a stall. And then we pull. Okay, let's watch it in slow motion now. This move appears a lot more difficult than it actually is. So to break it down, you must simply understand that the bottle in your left hand is basically replacing a tin, while the bottle in your right hand completes all the maneuvers. 
Pull the bottle from the well as you swipe through in a reverse grip, taking it behind the neck. Swipe the bottle through the front of your body as you release the bottle from your left hand over your right shoulder to the same hand. Toss the right bottle flat behind the back to the same hand as you cut through the left hand while releasing the bottle momentarily for the arm to pass through. Once again, you will position the bottle for a flat shadow pass, releasing from the left and catching with the same hand. To finish the routine, toss the bottle with your right hand flat behind the back and into a stall. Okay, uh, one big tip I'm going to give you is uh, how to keep an eye contact with people in the meantime you're flaring. Okay, there's a lot of moves that don't require to keep an eye on the bottle or the tin. I'm going to give you an example. Okay, if you do a roll with your hand, I don't need to see the tin. So in the meanwhile, I could be looking at somebody, you know, and flip it, you know, and flip behind the back, flip behind the head and then keep on looking at the customer. So while you're doing your flare, you know, I can look at you right now, still look at you, focus on the bottle, keep the focus, look at the customer, come back, look at the customer, come back, look at the customer, come back. And you always can keep an eye on the customer in the meantime you're flaring. Okay? So that's a big tip. There's a lot of moves that they don't require to get 100% focus on the moves when you have them really well practice and you can hit them every single time so when you when you're at that level then you can take your eyes out of focus from your flare and take a look at the customers in the meantime you're doing flare and that will give you more eye contact and crowd interaction and eventually it's going to give you more tips okay so practice it that way okay um let's go let's move to garnish now i'm going to share a couple of tricks with limes and uh this first one is a uh, as a snatch over the shoulder, okay? We're gonna grab a lime, let's pretend we have a drink right here. So we're gonna squeeze the lime, a little flare with the tin, snatch over the shoulder into the drink, okay? Let's watch it one more time. We're gonna squeeze, reverse, snatch, throw over the shoulder into the drink. Let's watch it in slow motion. After squeezing the lime, catch the tin in a reverse grip, tossing it behind the neck with a half spin, allowing you to grip the tin by its lip. Toss the lime into the air as you snatch it with the tin, continuing the motion of the snatch as you bring the tin behind your back to release over your shoulder. Catch the tin in the opposite hand and continue to garnish your drink. Okay, this next move is uh, one of my favorite garnish moves. It is it's beautiful. Um, he said the two lime catch, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw both on the same time. I'm gonna catch the first one in front and the second one on my back. Okay? And here's how it looks. There you go. Let's watch it in slow motion now. Place both limes on your palm with equal space, allowing them to separate in the air. The toss is the most crucial aspect of this trick, so practice your toss wisely to allow both limes to hit their target. You can practice the toughest aspect of this trick first by throwing one line behind your back and into the tin. Once you've mastered that, add the second line to execute the move. Okay, this is it. This is the best move with lines I have ever seen. Okay, it's a three line catch. If somebody asks you for extra line, here we go. Okay, you're gonna set it up this way. You put one in the bottom of your palm, another one in the center where your fingers start, and then the other one in the tip of your finger. You're gonna grab the tin on a reverse grip. You're gonna throw three in the air. You're gonna catch the first one this way, second one reverse, and the third one when it's coming down. Okay, here we go. Three limes right there. It's watching in slow motion now. 
Using the two lime technique from video three, simply add a third swipe to your routine to catch the third lime. Again, be sure to space the limes apart on your palm, aiming for the lowest lime closest to your wrist first as they fly through the air. The first two swipes will be straight across from right to left, then left to right as you swipe up to catch the final and third lime. Okay, as I show you in the last volume, uh, with the two lime catch, that you have to be very, very careful when you're doing it, because if the tin is, is kind of sticky or, you know, slippery, you can hurt someone because you can, you know, you can slide it out of the hand. Definitely with the three lime trick, it's, it's, it's even um, more dangerous. Okay, so you have to be very, very careful. Make sure your tin is, you have a really good grip on it. And I highly recommend to do it with a plastic cap so you, you have a better movement on your wrist and, um, and there's, no more, there's no risk for your customers, okay? So be very careful when you do it and it takes, up, it takes a little bit of practice, okay? Keep it on. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some pulls and cats, two of them. Uh, the first one, it will be this one, straight through, and then you're gonna throw a double with a tin, catch with the same hand, you're gonna pour, you're gonna bounce, Put the tin down and then cap. Okay? Let's do it one more time. It will be swipe through, tin under the arm, catch reverse, door, bump, cap, cap. Okay? Full speed, swipe through, under the arm, or bounce, or cap. Let's watch it in slow motion. Flip the tin from the left hand across your body as you catch it in a reverse grip over your right hand. Holding the tin by the lip, swing the bottle around into a pour directly over the tin. Then, bounce the bottle to create a pause in the pour, allowing you to maneuver the tin quickly below as the stream continues. Conclude with an aggressive cut across your body as you return the tin to starting position. Okay, the next cat I'm gonna show you is the one that I just call the cat. It's just, it's so simple, but it looks so nice. And it looks simple, but it's not, okay? This is the way it goes. You pour up here, go down, and you just cut. There's a, a wrist movement involved, and it takes a lot of practice to get it down. It looks very simple, but you're gonna notice that at the beginning, the liquid is gonna go over the place, all over the place until you get it done. Perfect, okay? Pour, cut, with a twist. Okay, one more time. Pour, cut, one more. Cut, okay? Now let's watch it in slow motion. This pour is actually a lot harder than it appears and will require some practice to master. While pouring, begin to cut the stream by dropping the back of the bottle slowly, making sure that the pour spout stays aligned with your tin. A slight twist in the wrist will allow for a clean cut, appearing as if the stream was simply turned off. This cut is very powerful when mastered, so be sure to practice this at home before attempting it behind the bar. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some uh, moves with bottles that they don't have the, you know, the regular shape that a regular bottle has. Okay, they're really like hard to flip. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep it simple, but I'm gonna show you that we still can flare with these bottles, okay? As an example, we have the 1800 bottle, you know, people ask for tequila, 1800. So then, see, you can do still exchanges, see? You don't release the bottle right here, you just keep on going, do a swipe through, release it for a second, then you can put